y'all this is dana welcome to my channel i am back just kind of getting this started i'm gonna start this now and then later on i'm gonna come back and finish this project up but what i want to do is i purchased this wooden d at hobby lobby and i want to use it in as decor in my craft room so um if this is a great thing for you to do like if you want to make a quick gift for a mother or something you can buy these letters at most craft stores even walmart carries them and all you're going to do is just decorate them up and they would make great additions to even for your mom if you want to decorate things for your mom or something like that but i thought i would decorate this one and put this in my craft room so i'm using this folk art um acrylic paint and this one is called conch shell i just wanted it to be kind of a very light color Ooh, that sounds really really good there i'm hoping i have enough in this little bottle to cover this whole thing here and i'm just using a foam brush gonna kind of get the bubbles out of my paint a little bit there and i'm just gonna start by painting I like to do quick little strokes. Usually I like to do two coats, so I'll probably paint over it once now and do another quick coat and then I'll just let it dry. And let's fix it and go get my shower. And I thought, like, you know what, I want to work on this today when we come back. So let me go in here and let me go ahead and get this painted. I'm in the office this week, so I'm trying to get things going in my craft room. It's really hard for me to do big projects when I'm in my when I'm in the office. Um, so Paint it up in the edge there, get a little bit of that extra excess paint off where it kind of dripped down. You know, on this particular one, I don't really feel the need to paint the back because it's going to be against my wall anyway. Um, I might end up painting it. We'll see. So you can see it's going to need two coats big time. So I'm hoping I have enough of this paint. If not, I might have to move to a new pink. So you're just gonna paint. Try, I try to make my strokes all go the same way. I am far not a professional painter. I just try. I just like to paint wood things. I think it's fun. I'm just going to try to fill in the sides here. Okay, so I'm going to try to get just around the edges. So just paint it, and as you see, this is going to need one more coat. And I'm just trying to see the edges. I'm just trying to make sure I get these edges. Uh, just don't have to be thick on the sides. Just kind of give it the color. And there we go. So now once this dries, I'll give it one more coat and then I'll be ready later on to finish this project up. Okay, it has been several hours. We went to our kids for lunch, went to the grocery store and came home. And I've just kind of been chilling a little bit, but I wanted to get in here and finish this. Now I thought about doing stripes on here and I think that would be beautiful. But you know, I really love it plain. I really do. So I think I've decided I don't want to add any more color to it. I just absolutely love it this way. It'd be nice to do like a stitching going around. That would be really nice as well. 
and I might end up doing that later on, but I thought um, I would go ahead and I would add some paper flowers to it. I've made these, these were in my stash, these are the rolled flowers, and I've got a couple of them here that I'm gonna add on. I didn't have any leaves already cut out, but I do have some of these that came out of my um, flowers that I got, the Prima flowers, and they're gonna work absolutely just fine. So, I think the best thing before we put the flowers on is we need to put like a, a hanger, and I'm gonna use some ribbon to put the hanger on. Now, I quickly just painted the back just because some paint got under there. It doesn't look great, but it's gonna be against the wall anyway. So what you're gonna do to make a hanger, you're just gonna just cut yourself a piece, and I'm just gonna make mine that actually looks fairly good. Um, let me grab my scissors here. I went to my daughter's, my daughter's house today, and um, my older daughter gave me this really, really cool um, tray for my kitchen, like serving tray. It's like a two-tiered thing. And then my, my younger daughter gave me, look, I told her, how did you know my scissors were getting dull? So anyway, she got me some new Fiskars and a Fisker trimmer. I was so grateful. Okay, so let me get these open so I can trim this. Okay, so got some new little little scissors here. Look at that titanium nonstick. Whoa. Okay, so I'm gonna just measure up how much I want um, on here, and I think I'm gonna do. It's probably about maybe six inches or so. Okay. Now I've got my hot glue already ready to go. I think I'm going to make this one flat too, so then I can just glue them both the same. And so all you're going to do is you're going to put yourself a little hanger on the back. And I don't really think I need it. I don't really know if I even needed it that long. Because I don't want the ribbon to be the showcase. I want I want the the flowers to be my showcase. So I'm thinking even a little bit shorter. I'm thinking I might cut it off a little bit more. Okay. So this is, and let me tell you about how long it is. I'm a little mad under here so we could see. It's a little bit more than six and a half inches. So all you're gonna do is you're gonna take it straight. You're gonna make it where your pieces are kind of flat and you're just gonna glue them on the back. I've got my hot glue all ready to go. And just kind of decide where you want to put this. I'm thinking because of the slope of the D, I might need to put it over here. I think that would probably work out. So I'm gonna make it where it goes like this. So I think I will add one glue over here. And I think I'll add the other one just kind of over here. Just a little bit more. It's not centered, but this kind of slopes down. You want to make sure that it's going to hang even for you. I'm just going to get that on. <laughs> my husband must have heard me um, listen to my video of what I had already videoed earlier about painting this. And he came in. You might want to turn off your Bluetooth. He's outside doing something on my car. He said, you might want to turn off your Bluetooth. He said, I could hear you. I go, okay. Okay, so there. That looks good. It's going to hang up just fine. And then I'm just going to use my flowers. Y'all, this is the most simple, simple little project. So I'm going to do, this is kind of like a, like a, a foiled looking flower that I created. And got this one right here. And then this one is a little bit lighter color. So I'm thinking that they should go about right in this area like this. 
and then the flowers will come off the edge like this. Now once I finish this, if I think I need to add a little bit of stitching going around, then I'll do that. But I want I don't want to do it until I'm sure. So because I don't want to have to repaint over it if I don't like it. Okay, so I think I'm just going to move these out. I'm going to grab this one. I probably put some tape on it before and then I end up not using it. So I took the tape off. Okay, I'm going to get this one. Press this one down. And this is going to be great decor for my craft room. Okay. Let me see how I'm going to like it. I think like that. I like it to be like a cluster. So I think I'm going to add this one. I'm going to put it right about right here. And I think this one's going to be kind of like this. I need to make some more flowers. I'm almost out. Okay. Press that down. Look at that how sweet it is. Oh, I love it. Now I'm gonna, this one is going to go, it's going to stick right up under here under the edge. So let me grab a little bit of my glue for this piece. I'm going to stick it right up underneath here. And I think this one will look good just going right here. Just a little cluster. Okay, press that down. Oh, look at that. That looks so pretty. So I'm really wondering if I should do a light white jelly roll stitching going all the way around. I'm thinking I might do that. I bought those jelly roll pins yesterday. Oops, knocked over my glue gun here. Okay, so these are different sizes. And these I got at Michael's yesterday. This was the brand. Okay. And this is a 5. This one's an 8. And this is a 10. Let me try some out on a little piece of scrap paper here. Let's see what I got over here. I have a post-it note. Okay, so let's move this over. I don't think I want it this. It's hard to see. Let me grab a black piece. I really don't want to put, um, I really don't want to put like something really dark on there. Okay, that one was a five. This one is an eight. And this one is 10. So what they are is they're kind of a, like a different weight. I kind of like that one. I think I'll go with this one. It's a little bit thicker. So I'm just gonna start up here at the top and add, add it all the way around. You probably, see, if you watch my videos, you've seen me do this. It just makes it look like it's like a stitching effect going all the way around. Just gonna space them out. I hope everybody has had a great day, being Mother's Day today. I did. I, you know, just being with my family is the best. And my husband, he took me back to Starbucks for the strawberry lemonade. It was so good. He liked it too. He did. And, um, then we stopped at the grocery store and came home. So you see, you can see the little stitching, it's very light. Of 
going all the way around. Let me see if I can start down here now to finish up the edge. And I know it's hard for you to see on the pink here. I want to give my sister a call and tell her Happy Mother's Day. But I wanted to finish this one first. Okay, I'm just going to keep on going. I love this. It's going to be so beautiful hanging in my craft room. And I've got, I ordered some stuff from um, the Wood Connection, and I ordered like the wooden banner pieces so I can decorate them. Because I've been wanting to add a little banner underneath my TV here. Okay, so I'm going to do, I'm going to go around the inside as well. But I, I think that my order will come Tuesday. So I'm hoping I can hoping I can do it on this week. Kind of start working on that. Just different stuff. Y'all know me. If you watch my channel for a while, I jump around. I do all kinds of crafts. The only thing I do not do is I don't crochet or knit because I don't know how and I've never been able to learn. So I don't do that. I leave all that to the people that can do it really well. The pros. Okay, so there you can see just the light dotted line going all the way around. I like that a lot. It's so cute. It's just very, very, very pretty. Subtle, but pretty. I'm wondering if I should have put one more flower. Let me see if I got one more in the pink section. I have one more pink one. Or you know what? I could try to see if I can add a gold. I do have a gold. Hmm. If I do, it's going to be up here. Let me stand up and take a look. You know what? No. I think I'll leave it like that. I think that that is good. I might make myself a few small ones here and add just a few small ones. I think that would be okay. Let me see if I have some small ones. Okay, so I did have one more of the pale pink, and I thought about putting it here. Um, it's really hard to decide. I don't wanna put two of the same color next to each other. And then I think I would need to add another leaf. Okay, sometimes you gotta step back and you gotta look at these things. And I think that that would look actually pretty good. I might cover up that leaf and add another one right here. No, I'm gonna go up. Okay, I think adding it here and then the leaf underneath just for a little green and just kind of doing it kind of like this. I think that would be good. Okay, I think I like that. So let's, before I change my mind, let me get this glued on. Get my chair up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna glue my flower, or my leaf on. No changing my mind now. Get that kind of where it's sticking out. And then this one can go here and I will be cutting more flowers I love having them in my stash okay. Okay, there we go this one was a little bit more rolled a little more tighter but that's okay yeah I like that that's cute 
I wonder if I have another green to stick here. You know what? You're going to keep adding. That's what you're going to do. Okay. Let's see. I don't have a leaf, but I can take a leaf off of another flower and use it. This is kind of a different green now. Okay, I think I'm gonna I think I'm gonna leave it. I don't want it. I don't want to keep changing it. And that's it. Easy, super simple little project. Add your name on here if you like. I might put my name here. That would be good. But putting my name right here, cutting it out with some vinyl or using some like letters, letters, um, like sticky letters that you might have. That would look good too. I think I might do that. Let me cut some letters. Okay, so I have cut out my name um, on my Cricut. I am using black glitter cardstock, or black glitter vinyl, actually. Um, the name of the font I'm using is L-O-V-E-A-H-E-G-E-N-A, -E -E and I will put that on the screen. If you're interested, I believe I got it on Defont.com. So I'm gonna stand up here so I can make sure I'm getting this as straight as I can get it. I think it's just gonna be good. Just going across right centered here on the bottom. And then I'm just gonna get this down and I think it's gonna be so pretty. I think it's just gonna add something. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can get this pressed down really, really well. And I'm gonna see if I can get this off and that's coming off just fine. And there we go. Now I have my name on here. Oh my goodness, I do love it with that. I think it's just beautiful, just beautiful. That's it, y'all. That's the. That's how I'm gonna keep this project. It's gonna be sweet and simple. It's gonna hang on my wall here in my craft room. And yeah, I love it. I hope you guys have enjoyed coming along with me while I am trying to make my room my my room some decor. I hope you enjoyed it. Maybe it will inspire you to do the same. Um, if you do not have a Cricut to do this, use letters that you buy, like sticky letters that you buy. Um, you don't have to, you don't have to do this. Or if you can freehand, like with a paint pen, do that as well. You can use, instead of making the rolled flowers, if you don't have a way to do that, just make use some Prima flowers, you know? Or just if you have a dye that you cut flowers, there's so many ways that you can still do this without like without being having a cricket you don't have to have a cricket i just utilized it it helped me out but anyway that is it have a great day thank you so so much for watching and i hope everyone had a wonderful mother's day it was just it was just a beautiful amazing nice warm it was very warm here in north texas today but we are grateful anyway have a great night love you guys so much and i'll talk to you soon bye